I, David Poehler, take thee, Emily, to be my wedded wife, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part, to love and to cherish till death do us part. I, Emily Kessie, take thee, David, to be my wedded husband, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part, to love and to cherish till death do us part. So we decided we were taking David Owen. We asked him where he lived, and he didn't remember where he lived. <laughs> and it was, uh, we were driving over Seminole and Largo, and nothing seemed to look familiar to him. And he was like, well, turn left. I don't know, turn right. And uh, so, I mean, I was driving the point out of the road, ready to drop him off at the fire station. <laughs> and he had a little note on his shirt saying, good luck, finally. But so we decided to go to Plan B and ask the other young man where he lived. And to my surprise, not only did he know how to get himself home, but David knew how to get him home. <laughs> and so it was like a Google assistant in the back seat of the car telling me, in a quarter mile, turn right on the right the road. <laughs> so, uh, so it was years later that I found out that David actually didn't know how to get home. He just wanted more time with Emily. <laughs> Well, Emily is the most loyal, kind, and resourceful soul I've ever had the pleasure of knowing. She can knit a washcloth in the course of like, I don't know, a couple hour conversation with you. <laughs> By the end of it, you'll have a nice little washcloth. Uh, she's truly a proud, sturdy young woman, and more than anything, she has such a servant's heart. David is also like this. Loyal, servant-minded, and consistent and steady like no one else. Observing them and their relationship is just beautiful because they complement each other so well. I think because of those certain parts. It's really easy to have people kind of walk over you when you have a servant heart, but because they will constantly think about the other person, it just looks so well. I have known Emily and David throughout high school and to think that the quiet band student um, and sound guy would be always overly half that half, and the extremely bright and outgoing clumsy girl would come together and never really cross my mind. And yet, I don't think a better match could have been made. You two were simply meant to be. That's all you can really say about that. My prayer for you guys is that Every day is an adventure, and that this next chapter is guided by the Lord with love and joy, because when you keep him at your center, your marriage will only grow. I love you guys so much.